Uh, but I was pretty unfamiliar with the whole turnaround process. It was a new, you know, a very new process in the state of North Carolina. So I really wasn't very much aware of what, what I was looking at uh, and what kind of involvement that we were going to have with DPI. I didn't even know that there was any at that point. And I knew that it was important that we have a lot of success that first year because we were, we were doing so many things and asking teachers to do so many things that if we failed to show significant growth, uh, I, I felt that uh, to be like the football team that you know that goes through two-day practices and the coach works them extremely hard and they, you know, they're practically dying from working so hard and then they don't win any ball games. It's hard to bring them back the next year and, and work them that you know that hard. So uh, I knew it was important that we should we we show improvement and significant improvement. Uh, so I was really holding my breath at the end of the year and saying, gosh, if we don't, you know, then how do I pull it off the, the second year? Uh, but I felt pretty confident that, that we would, based on the things that we were doing and, and the kinds of, you know, processes that we were putting in place for kids. So at the end of the year when we did, you know, we went from 49 um, to 68%, uh, you know, efficient. Um, that, you know, teachers, it made believers uh, out of teachers. Believers about everything? No. You know, and I don't want them, I want them to always be skeptical and look at the data and look at what we're doing, but it, it, I think they were convinced that, hey, we're headed in the right direction and most of the things that we're doing, you know, are going to continue to help, help us. So that was a big plus for us to show that significant improvement that, that first year. And then when we come back the second year, uh, knew we couldn't continue with the same amount of growth, but uh, to exceed our goal, which was seven, we, our goal was to exceed 70% proficient uh, overall, and we wound up at 74. So that was, again, uh, about a 6% increase over the first year, which I thought was, you know, was, was great for us. Uh, and it put us in, you know, the upper, level of school high schools in the, in the state so now we can now we've moved that goal to 80 percent uh, this year and that's going to be tough to get there but you know that that's our, our goal If we do turn into a school that that has everything, Mr. Brown will be the principal that will that will turn it into everything.